Welcome to Wings of Arrow Advanced Education and Research Organization. To know more, visit our official web page www.wingsofarrow.in. Find your dream aviation and aerospace jobs at www.wingsofarrow.in. Now we are going to learn how to find the isothermal efficiency and the free air delivery of compressor. Consider a single acting two-stage compressor with complete intercooling which delivers 5 kg per minute of air at 15 kg force per cm2 assuming an intake state of 1 kg force per cm2 and 15 degrees Celsius and that the compression and expansion processes are reversible and polytropic with n equals 1.3. Calculate the isothermal efficiency and the free air delivery. Let me write the given data. Inlet pressure of air P1 is equal to 1 kg force per cm2. Inlet temperature T1 is equal to 15 degrees Celsius or 288 Kelvin. Mass rate of air M is equal to 5 kg per minute. Final pressure P3 is equal to 15 kg force per cm2 and polytropic index N is equal to 1.3. Here we have to find out the isothermal efficiency and the free air delivery. Since for isothermal compression the work required to drive the compressor is minimum. It is considered as a standard towards which each designer will try to approach and the performance of the compressor is given by isothermal efficiency. So isothermal efficiency is defined as the ratio of work input to the isothermal process to the work input to the actual process between the same inlet and exit pressures. Then write isothermal efficiency eta suffix iso is equal to w suffix i divided by w where w suffix i is the isothermal work done and w is the work done in compression. First find isothermal work done. An isothermal process is a change of a system in which the temperature remains constant and for isothermal process PV is equal to constant. Then work done is given by W suffix I is equal to M into R into T1 into log of P2 divided by P1 where mass rate M, inlet temperature T1, initial pressure P1 are given. R is the gas constant for air which is 29.27 kg force meter per kilogram degree Kelvin and P2 is the pressure at the end of first stage of compression which is unknown. For multi-stage compression we know P2 is equal to square root of P1 into P3. Pressure ratio for each stage is same. This also gives equal work in each stage. From this we can write P2 is equal to 3.88 kg force per centimeter square. Then the isothermal work done W suffix I is equal to 1908 gram force meter per second. Next find the work done in compression. For isothermal compression the work done is minimum. However, this is difficult to realize in practice and compression follows the law PV power N equals constant. Then total work done per cycle is given by W is equal to 2 into M into N divided by N minus 1 into R into T1 into P2 divided by P1 to the power N minus 1 divided by N minus 1. Here the all values are known. Substitute those values and simplify. We get work done W is equal to 2240 gram force meter per second. 
now divide isothermal work done w suffix i by work done in compression w we get the required isothermal efficiency is 85 percent next find out the free air delivery so free air delivery is a common measure of the capacity of an air compressor it is the actual quantity of compressed air converted back to the inlet conditions of the compressor then write v is equal to m into r into t1 divided by p1 where we know m is mass rate r is the gas constant of air t1 is the inlet temperature p1 is the inlet pressure now solve this equation with those values we get the required free air delivery 4.21 meter cube per minute did you know ever noticed how the moon appears to change shape each night that's because as the moon orbits the earth the sun lights up different parts of its surface so it's just a view of the moon that's changing not the moon itself because the force of gravity at the surface of an object is the result of the object's mass and size the surface gravity of the moon is only one sixth that of the earth the force gravity exerts on a person determines the person's weight even though your mass would be the same on earth and the moon if you weigh 132 pounds on earth you would weigh about 22 pounds on the moon if you have further inquiry or requested video drop down to our mail wings of arrow at the rate gmail.com don't forget to subscribe for more updates for the time being take care stay blessed inspired and fly high